Hi guys, I'm Song Young Longest. Welcome to Asian at Home. And today, let's make bulldog, the spicy Korean chicken with chumokbap, the rice balls. So this is a really, really super duper simple recipe. And I actually shared my bulldog, the fire spice chicken recipe before with melted cheese all over on top. So check it out if you wanna go insane with this recipe, so go ahead and check it out right here. Or just make just, you know, regular version of it. It doesn't need to be like burn your mouth to like, you know what I mean? Like, you've been through, I've been through, we all been through, we know what we are talking about, right? To marinate the chicken, we will need some garlic. So depending on the uh, the size of the garlic, it's five to seven cloves of garlic. I think I'm gonna use five because they are really large cloves of garlic. If you are interested in my knife, go ahead and check the link down below. I have a $50 off coupon for this nice and sharp my knife. As the chopped garlic into a mixing bowl where a pound of the chicken thigh that I already cut it into the bite size. So yeah, cause we are gonna marinate chicken with this amazing flavor, some chopped garlic and everything else. And just a little tiny bit of ginger maybe a quarter of the amount of the garlic. So I would say the garlic is about two tablespoons. So the ginger maybe about one teaspoon and two tablespoons of mirin, the seasoned rice wine. Let's bring the mixing bowl over here. It's more makes sense, right? Two tablespoons of soy sauce, the nice savory flavor and two tablespoons of oyster sauce some black peppers and a tablespoon of Korean plum extract. Now, by now, by now, by, blah, blah, by now, you know, I've been using this a lot instead of the sugar. So it gives nice fruity sweetness into the dish and it just brings everything together. It just like make it Korean food so authentic Authentic. It's just amazing ingredients. You've got to purchase one bottle. Not sponsored. I just love something I want to share with you guys. All right now, I'm gonna mix all this together. Oh, oh my goodness, I can't even believe. Add three tablespoons of gochugaru, Korean red pepper flakes. I can't even believe it. This is the main ingredient. What bull dog bull? So anyways, I'm adding three tablespoons of extra spicy gochugaru. Um, we call it Cheongyang gochugaru, but if this is too spicy for you, use regular gochugaru. It's totally fine because regular gochugaru is already spicy too. So don't go too crazy, okay? Just enjoy. Enjoy the flavor. <coughs> <coughs> If you're a beginner of the spicy food, I would say you can skip the spiciness. So skip the gochugaru or maybe start from one tablespoon of gochugaru. I'm pro. <coughs> <coughs> oh, oh. Now this looks really mad. <laughs> I'm like a little crazy. All right, this looks good. I'm going to set aside with my chopstick, just attached there because I'm gonna use it later when I'm cooking. Just keep it there, okay? <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna slice my onion. All right, set aside the onion right here because we're gonna add the onion when the chicken is about halfway cooked through. So coming, coming back to the chicken, so you can marinate the chicken, marinate the chicken from 30 minutes minimum to maybe two hours, three hours, or even overnight. Do it like the day before, the night before and marinate it as long as you want to, but... <sighs> So I'm just gonna start the cooking since I have a lot of uh, recipes to film today. So I'm kind of like chop chop bali bali kind of mode right now. So I'm going to heat up my wok that I got from uh, Asian grocery store. This is my new wok. Uh, first time using it today. So let's see how it goes. So anyways, I'm gonna heat it up over high heat and then going to add a tablespoon of oil. All right, I think my pan is nice and hot. I'm gonna add the chicken. I actually reduced the heat to medium heat because the gochugaru, the pepper, when they are with the high heat, it's gonna create some cough for you. Trust me, I learned from the experience. If you watched my 
every Wednesday night Facebook live you probably not know what you're what I'm talking about right now and the marinade is really easy to burn so actually medium to medium high heat would be probably a better choice <coughs> oh my nose are spicy remember regular gochugaru wouldn't be this spicy I use the Changyang gochugaru the extra extra spicy gochugaru that's why I'm like ah. <laughs> oh but regular gochugaru you don't have to worry about trust me the smell the air is more spicier than actually the food I know it's harder to trust but trust me <coughs> oh whew. it looks like my chicken is cooked about halfway through this is the time to add onions yes I'm gonna add the whole entire one and just mix it all together if you don't like onions uh, be creative with the vegetable that you want to add actually some red peppers will be beautiful in here some bok choy cabbage or zucchini any vegetable your favorite vegetable go ahead and add or mix mix all the vegetables why not so good while right, the chicken is finished cooking i'm going to chop up some green onion for garnish later <coughs> i'm okay it's a clean my science uh, did I say it right? It's a cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. Believe it or not, I'm excited to eat this. Yes! Chicken is done. I just turned off the heat. Now I'm going to bring a bowl of rice. This is about a cup of rice. It's gonna be like if I say I cooked that rice because I used uh, pre cooked rice from the store and I just reheat it in the microwave. And if I sound like I just cried, I might have. Um, because I miss Jacob, he's, he's away right now and I miss him so much and not because the chicken is too spicy, okay? So into the rice, we are going to season to make the rice ball. You will need this hurikake. Uh, hurikake is a Japanese uh, rice seasoning. So this has uh, like the seasoned seaweed, some sesame seeds, and uh, like a salt, and maybe, maybe a little tiny bit of like sugar to balance the, the savory and sweetness. And my voice is really ridiculous right now. <clears throat> Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> but I feel like my voice is kind of sexy though. Hmm? So I'm gonna add the frikake. Add a lot of them. Like half of the container. Trust me, it's so good. I love it so much. And about two to three tablespoons of mayonnaise. Uh, let's say two tablespoons. Two tablespoons will do. We're gonna mix this rice. Yes. That is the only two ingredients you will need. They're good to go. So now what you do is just grab a, a little tablespoon full of it. It doesn't have the exact same size. All of them doesn't have to be exact same size. Go like this, like a little squeeze, squeeze, squeeze to make a cute rice bowl. Ah, so cute. So into the serving plate, I'm going to add the spicy chicken. Not add the spicy chicken. Just place the chicken on your serving plate. Okay, and sprinkle some green onions, nice and refreshing. And some sesame seeds as well. Oh yes, oh this looks good. And the rice balls. They're so cute. Ta-da! Bulldog and the rice ball. So this recipe I inspired from the Korean show I've been watching, Olive Pocha. So they are they are bringing this Korean street restaurant and bar to all around the world. And so far they went to Paris and Denmark. Um, it's such a such a beautiful show. If you love Korean food and Korean culture, you will really enjoy the show. So this is one of their menus. I wanted to recreate it, and um, yeah. I totally forgot about mentioning at the beginning of the show, but sorry. This is something really easy to create at home. And if you didn't make, uh, if you didn't use the extra, extra, extra spicy gochugaru like I did, um, you wouldn't have a problem like me right now the, with sexy voice, sexy voice. <laughs> so everything should be good to go, okay? <clears throat> so I have a question. How long did I have this green onion on my hair? Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. 
like I said, that is delicious. Mmm. 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 Oh my goodness. Mm. This is perfect right now. Mmm. Mmm. The mayonnaise kills the spice like instantly. So I can eat more. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god, it's so good. Mm -mm 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 Guys, if you guys like my spicy chicken with the rice balls, the bulldog and jumokbap, please give me a thumbs up, huge thumbs up. Come on now, this video deserve it. This recipe deserve it. You guys deserve it. Come on, let's do it. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Share this video, share this recipe with your friends and family that you wanna share this recipe together. Um, yeah, and subscribe my channel if you haven't yet, definitely. Otherwise, you're gonna miss out this awesomeness and deliciousness. Don't be, don't be behind, okay? And <clears throat> thank you so much for watching. And remember, you can always cook Asian food at your house, making it easy and fun. I'm Song Young Long Guest, and this is Asian at Home. And I will see you next time. Bye! <laughs> I know my voice is so sexy. I love it. I don't want it to be go away. <laughs> I should cook this more often. <laughs>